My name is Stephen Keep Mills. That's Keep like Keep Off the Grass. Uh, my film is liminal, like subliminal, but without the sub, so liminal. Um, I'm the writer and director. It's a psychological film. Uh, it really is about a woman's fight against her own self. Uh, each of us, I think, has a, a negative voice inside that means to destroy us, to take us down, to eliminate us, to keep us from being who we are. So, I can wear a sweater if I like it. I have to get permission from the Lord God Joy Almighty before I get dressed. It's really uh, a fight for survival, psychologically. Uh, I believe inside us we have dramas equal to the Greeks. Uh, big, big dramas that go on uh, all the time. And if we don't resolve these dramas and admit that they're taking place, then we're going to play them out uh, in other relationships. Hey, you do it! It's my own business! Is that what you think? I don't see who else it is! Oh, you don't! No, I don't! Well, that must mean that nobody else is in this room then. Is that what it means? So, first you have to make peace here, or at least deal with the enemy, which is probably very close to yourself. So it's a cautionary tale. I want the audience to, to, to check that out, to look inside and to say, okay, I have these issues that are unresolved. I can't blame somebody else. I think I'm just psychologically interested in those dramas. I don't, um, even though I love uh, stories that have plot lines per se, I, I think um, we also have stories that, that don't have those plots. I mean, that have big consequences, uh, but that are not so logical. Also, I read an article where one playwright was saying, you have to put blood on the stage and what, what she meant was that you have to make a drama there where things are at stake where people's life where they're playing for the for them for the for their lives you know and i i think I, my inspiration came from that remark i wanted to see if i could create a drama where a death was believable uh, so in other words if i as a writer could earn that death from the audience, if they could see it and say, oh, that, that doesn't come out of the blue. Uh, so I think that was my challenge to myself. Well, Liminal itself, uh, I sought long and hard for the title, uh, but it's a very psychological word. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's not even in a lot of dictionaries. Uh, and it means over the threshold where instinct takes over from thought. Yes, I, I think uh, this is my last short. I think I'll work on a feature next. Uh, I have a script that I'm working on. It's, um, it's a, it was a play. I, I'm trained as an actor and, and, and plays uh, something I always read. This is an Italian playwright, Ugo Betti. He died in the 40s. He wrote a play called The Inquiry. And uh, I wrote The Estate and asked for screen rights to make a film of it, and they uh, gave me that permission. Love your story, and don't, don't give up on, on your vision for it, you know? I mean, it's so easy to, to not fight for what you see, but at the same time, be very clear about what you see. So I would just say, fall in love with it, and don't let go. The winner is Liminal. And it's just such a pleasure to, to have the feeling that you belong, that uh, your work is valid, and uh, that there are so many other uh, filmmakers, actors, people of, of, of all disciplines who do nothing but inspire. So, Dell, I won't mention your name again, but I will take the inspiration with me. Thank you. <laughs>